Okay, so we are confused, but we know what we want. Confused, but we know what we want. What does that mean? Well, there is this Two of Cups, there is this Hermit, and the Queen of Swords. So you like someone, but you don't know if you like them still. Um, because why? You Do you want to see if they have options or you have options? Someone here is trying to figure out, like, oh, maybe it's not time for me to settle. Maybe there are other things. You know, the grass is greener, they always say. Um, but I don't sense that it's you. I don't sense it's them. But there is this feeling. So it's more of a feeling of uncertainty. Um, you're driven. You're motivated. You're a person who has overcome so much struggle. Um, your person is a little bit on the cold side, not as warm. You know, like when you talk, they do give some sort of emotional attachment. They do say like they care about you. They have feelings. You know, you do have this, which is lovely, lovely. Temperance, the moon, the knight of swords. But lately, the, you know, things has been cold, right? Things hasn't been how it was. So honeymoon stage is over. Things become real. Um, you're trying to keep it there with the temperance and the two of cups. You're trying to manage, basically, the relationship. You're seeing right now that in this relationship, there are certain needs that you need. But I'm not sure if that person is giving, okay? I'm not sure if you guys have communicated also about that. You're trying your best, you keep giving it a chance, but it, it is becoming toxic. Okay, because you have the Devil, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, let's see what's going on here. Now, oh, hold on, before I, you know, if you are, because when I was manifesting my richness, my richness, or, you know, like something stable in my life, you know, um, like business-wise, finances-wise, so there's two things that I would stack. One is a choice of crystal, which is citrine. The reason why I'm saying that is because you have a magician and ace of pentacles. This is someone who's manifesting money, abundance, prosperity. And if there's anything I know, is that, okay? So I use Moldivite, okay, for that. I have seven left. It is made of gold. You can check it out. That's what I use. I'm on and off with it because it's high frequency. So once I get what I need, like funding, for example, I need to invest, I need this, I use it. And then I stay away because it's too much, it's too strong. Just saying, you know, Magician Ace of Pentacles. It's down there in the description. Now, you have the Knight of Swords with the Devil. Your person, um, I feel, okay, has this deep connection for you. I don't sense cheating, I don't sense lying, but I do sense some sort of obsession. Knight of Swords with the Devil and a Two of Cups. They can be... Their obsession is different though. It's an avoidant kind of obsession. The more you want them, the more they isolate. So they, they get their fix by being distant. Does it make sense? By being cold. Because what I'm seeing here is you will try and you will make them basically feel wanted. So they get that validation. Okay? And they love it. They love it. They love it. They love it. So this is where you get confused because you do have the Seven of Cups as your first card. You don't know what is going on because the more you try, the more they become distant. And then they do tell you, it's like, no, I like what we have. I feel like what we, you know, what we have is this and that. Mm -mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Failed relationship, failed business, failed basically in everything three years ago. Then I work with, um, with Moldivite. Founded in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And my life has forever changed. It speeds up the process of, well, my transformation. I was going, you know, I was. it was in a dark place and I just needed some uh, inspiration, something that can boost my life. It has helped me. And I hope it does the same for you. Yep. They totally love you. Nine of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, with the Ten of Cups over here. They definitely love you. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. But look at that. Look at this. Two of Pentacles. They are still juggling and deciding. Unsure. Okay? Um, they will be with you and then out with friends. It's only cool. You know, it's like, you know, going out with friends, there's nothing. There's no problem with that one. But it feels like there is this part of them that you doubt because it's like, well... I feel like, you know, you're more of like a child, like, you know, as you grow mature, you know, it's a different, you know, it's a different time that you need, you know, mature people has different agenda in their life. Oh, I'm not saying like friends is not mature, but they do spend majority of their time with the nine of cups here, out drinking, whatever they want with them. They do go to you for that emotional connection, but I don't sense that they're trying to settle. 
I feel like for them, this is fun. For them, you're the fix. You know, they get what they need. I know, intimacy, love, emotion, Ten of Cups is the worst. Okay? So, this is where you get like, eh, is this person serious with me? Or they just want to have fun. Okay. Ooh, Four of Wands, High Priestess, relationship is not a subject here. Or settling. Two of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. Okay? That's not a subject. For them, that's High Priestess with the Queen of Cups. A very sensitive topic. Very, very sensitive. It's something that they cannot really invest in. Moving in, next level of the relationship, getting married, you know. I'm not sure how you guys, uh, how long have you guys been together though. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, they feel tired. And they're talking to you, Ten of Wands, Two of Swords with a strength card. It's like, well, I'm not really sure. Maybe sometime in the future we can discuss this. So they put you in the gray area. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune and gives you that hope. Queen of Wands with the world. Can be long distance relationship. Wheel of Fortune, the world, and the Queen of Wands. There's something in this relationship that's about to turn around and they make you basically wait for them because the Two of Swords is here. Strength card, they had, they, they made this decision. It's like, listen, how about we wait? Let's not talk about it right now. But in the future, there may be. Okay? It's, a, it's a big maybe. Ten of Wands with a Wheel of Fortune and a Four of Wands. Because right now, they're claiming like, well, I have a lot of responsibility. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. So, you know, your person is basically um, saying here that it is in the cards, but I'm not sure because there's a Two of Pentacles. And they also shut down this topic. Like, no, we've discussed this before. Let's not open that subject again. Mm -hmm. This is one of this. Let me get you more cards here. Oh, and... In the spirit, in celebration of Pride Month, um, by tomorrow, um, we are going to have our wonderful, soulful, okay, Pride bracelet, okay? So you can check it out. It is made with real gold, okay? And it's limited edition. This is, of course, in celebration and in support of Pride Month. It's going to be tomorrow lunch, so I'm excited for that. Okay, so let me continue this. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm seeing here right now, it's like you want something out of this. Ace of Pentacles with the Devil, okay. Um, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, but you'd rather not. So for you, I'd rather not talk about it. I'd rather not express myself right now. So since I'm in the gray area with them and they put me in this like, well, I'm not sure anymore, da da da. Um, I'm seeing that you're doing the same. So for you, it's an eye for an eye, okay. Judgment. But you are pressured, but you're uns unsure because the judgment is he's like, uh, you know, I don't know how long I can keep this. You know, they say they're going to make up their mind, you know, like you never want to be left hanging. And that's, I feel like what your person did because they claim that they have other things in their life that they are still fixing. Okay. Okay. Can you connecting with the Scorpio Gemini? You got Sag over here. Um, you got Leo. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. They really refuse to talk. Oh, High Priestess, Knight of Swords, and the Three of Swords. It felt like the way that they felt pressured, it led to a separation. High Priestess, Knight of Swords, with the Three of Swords. It, f it feels like they put you now in the no contact. Two High Priestess. If you need a no contact personal reading, it's going to be in the description box below if it's available. You can check the link down there. It is going to be a wait. High Priestess is here. Okay, Read before you purchase if it's available. It's down there. For no contact, how does this person feel towards you? Because it feels like no contact. Okay, So High Priestess, Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, they're claiming here that they felt so much pressure on your end. You put them in the spot, judgment here with the High Priestess to express themselves. When they got cornered okay, to make this decision about how where the relationship is going, you know, you have this four of, four of ones, two of cups. Their choice was to shut down. Their choice was like, you know what? I feel like we need some space and some time. Well, let's find out what happens next. Link in the description box below. I'll continue this reading. If you're connecting with it, join me there.